Alright, first off, I want to say Kal Halal Imla Yahawa Bahashem Yahawa Shai Bahashem Raka Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the brothers and highways and byways in this work in our sincerity and in our honesty, the sisters, the believers, the helps. Shalom. Now I just want to do a lesson on the whole topic of prayer and the whole power behind praying. You get me? There's a there's a level of understanding when it comes down to prayer. And if you really understand it, you have to really, really understand it, if you really know how well you can do it. You see me? And um before I even go into the lesson, um, the names we're supposed to pray to is the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, and the Son's name is Yahweh Shai, which is Yahweh Shai is our Master, our Savior, yo, right? The scripture, the prophets before would prophesy who's to come back and save the children of Israel, you see me? So, I just want to dive into this lesson on prayer, right? So, we know who to pray to, Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai is the main father and the son's name. Now this is Ephesians 6 verse 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Right? So I was just reading this and I was like, alright, praying always with with all prayer and supplication so i went into the word supplication click definition there it says here the action of asking or begging for something earnestly or humbly so let's dive back into that all right so praying always with with all prayers and begging in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance is me perseverance means to try or to 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 to, to um focus on to, to like a goal you are you're trying to attain and supplication for all saints is me so basically constantly praying to the most high the heavenly father which his name is yahweh right through his son yahweh shai begging them for whatever you want yo you see me while remaining in that spirit because you know you're not something where you're gonna, Go up on your knees and start big um pray for carnal things, you see me for for, for a, a big house, a nice car and lots of money, which you get me to a degree you can pray for certain things like that. But in a certain circumstance, yo, you see me? You understand? But remember to pray for the necessary things, begging the most high for the necessary things, you see me? That's what's most important. You understand? This is um, Philippians 4, verse 6. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication for thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto the Most High. So, whatever your heart desire, now I say, again, now I say, if you just get up and start praying for beer, come on, all things are so no. Always remain in the Spirit. You see me? Pray to the Most High. And let him know what you want, yo. If if you have a problem with let's say um studying or researching things, beg the most high, beg the most high for it, you see me? So that it be a gift gifted upon you from the most high. You see me? If you have a problem with reading, if you have a problem with, with, with um any little thing at all, yo, especially within this truth, pray and beg the most high for it, yo. Sincerely. And the most I will grant you, yo. You see me? This is um Mark eleven verse twenty four. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that he received them, and ye shall have them. That's the next thing. That's the, the next crucial thing you should keep in mind. Believe that the most I will give it to you, yo. There is nothing impossible of the most high. Not one thing, yo. You understand me? What 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 would man comprehend as impossible or yo that not real? To the most high, it's just another day, yo. Another thing to get done. That's that's simply it. 
You understand me? So whatsoever your heart desire, especially within the spirit, within this truth, yo, and you pray, believe that the most high gonna give you. Believe that the most high gonna place in in, 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 in that um situation or position that, that will elevate it to that next step. You understand me? You have to believe, yo. Wholeheartedly and sincerely. You see me? This is um first John five verse fourteen. And this, and this is the confidence that we have in Him. You hear that? Confidence we have in the Most High, yo. The Lord will do it. You see me? Or the Lord can do it. And you pray and beg for the Most High to because you know He can. You see me? Believing the Most High. So it's say, yo, and this is the confidence that we have in Him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. I must say, once it's remained, especially if it's remained spiritual, yo, it's done sincerely, wholeheartedly, and you believe the most I've been hearing you, yo. Been hearing you. As I said, before you even start praying, the most I know your heart, yo. You see me? This is um. This is still um, Saint John fifteen, but this is now verse seven. Well, no, yeah, Saint John fifteen and verse seven. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be unto you. It shall be done unto you. That's a simple. So guess what. You see me? You go, you pray and ask for the most high what you want. You believe that the most high will give you and you have confidence that the most high can give you, yo. You see me? F faith, don't don't forget that. You get me? And the Lord will hear you and the Lord will grant it unto you, yo. You see me? It's as simple as that. But just remember these things and never forget. Think, um scripture even tell us say oh pray without cease yo you see me pray without cease we're, we're, we're imperfect living in this flesh going through this life so we need the most high yo so we should always continually pray big fast to the most high for the things within the spirit that we need to move on in this life until our savior Yahushua comes to deliver us and even after that, yo, never stop praying. Never keep, never dwindle that communication between you and the Heavenly Father. So with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to say, Kal Halalim La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash, Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the brothers in the highways and byways doing this work. In all sincerity and in all honesty, the sisters, the believers, the helps. Shalom.